welcome to week one of the ACD Angelic Compulsive Disorder Recovery Course. This week we are going to dive into establishing a formula for building on throughout the rest of our course and this means we're going to have to be looking at boundaries. Now you've heard this word a million times I know but if you're anything like me you've been wondering what are they? How do I use them? And you know where on earth do I put these boundaries once I've got them? Quite simply boundaries are there for you to live within. They're not for other people, they're not rules and regulations, they're not for other people to see so that they can respect them, they're for you, they're your guidelines, they're the safe space in which you can fully express yourself. Without them, you express so widely, you start to float off in the edges, you become scattered, lost and confused. So let's start with boundaries. Who are you? What are you here for? What's important to you? What really matters? Within this boundary, we establish a set of identities. For instance, um, you identify as male or female. You identify as an age, possibly. You identify as um, a profession that you may hold in your everyday life, a religion, a practice. You may identify with what you eat. Maybe you're a vegetarian, maybe you're a vegan, maybe you're a staunch omnivore and proud of it. A smoker, non-smoker, a drinker or a non-drinker. All of these things are parts of your identity and their boundaries. So you get some ideas, the boundaries are the lines that show where you stop and the rest of the world begins. By developing strong boundaries around yourself, I only go to here and no further. I only work with these people and no others. And I only want to be in this space at this time. One of my boundaries is, I'm never going to work a 9 to 5 job again. I have to work from home, I have to work for myself and I have to have a flexible schedule. There's my boundary. Within that, I get to establish what I do and how I do it. My identity is, I'm a life coach and I work with earth angels just like you, helping you achieve the life you've always wanted and overcome the struggle that your sensitive, caring nature creates. So what's next? Once we've established our boundaries, we know about our identity, then we can start to speak our truth. We speak our truth through the choices we make. So we have boundaries, identity, and then we make choices, and the choices lead us in certain directions. People looking in then see exactly and clearly who we are and what we're about. So for those of you that work in the healing arts, and many of you do, you put a price on your work. You put a time slot on your work. You tell people when you're available to serve and how much it's going to cost. You decide how available you are. So you're not answering to people 24 seven because that way madness lies. So boundaries, identity, choice and truth. That's our first week in a nutshell. Now go and check out the worksheets that I've linked in below. Have a look at answering the questions and deciding exactly what boundaries you would like to establish in your life. Create the avatar sheet that I put below and establish a nice identity for yourself that you feel happy with. Remember, we can always change it. Hey, everything could change tomorrow. You're not stuck with this for life. But let's just start where we are right now. Look at the next sheet and we'll be looking at choices. Choices you already made and you've commit to and choices you'd like to make in the future, things you'd like to change, and choices that you would like to make disappear, things you would like to stop, things you would like to release, okay? So what you already do and you're sticking to, things you would like to bring in, and things you'd like to let go of. And then I would love you to have a go at writing out a vision statement which is expressment of your truth, okay? I'll give you some examples in the worksheet and then of course come back into the group let us know how you get on with your homework can't wait to see how you're getting on and i'll see you again in week two see you later